When you keep your data and documents on a SharePoint site, you can use views to organize and display the information for easy discovery. Members of the marketing team at Contoso store marketing publications on a site that is available for others in the company to serve themselves. I'm signed in as Sue Neal to show you how we've organized the site for people to find things more easily. This is the marketing publications library where marketing materials are stored. Although I'm using a library as an example, most of what I'll show you in this video works the same way for a list. When people come to the library, they see the All Documents view, which is the default view for the library. Similar to a table, the information is organized into columns and you can sort and filter items by clicking the heading. I can sort all the items in alphabetical order either ascending or descending. I can also filter the items according to a value, such as PPTX, to see only the presentations. Now I'll clear that filter to show all the documents again. The simple sorting and filtering I've shown so far help me find things quickly, but it's not designed to be saved. If I go away and then come back to the library, I have to start sorting and filtering all over but I can create views that save these types of settings for me and for others. In fact, views are even more powerful. Right now I'm looking at the All Documents view for this library. We've created other views that people can use to find what they need. When I select a different view, you can see that not only does the list of documents change, but the columns change as well. Let's look at another view to compare. The views we've seen so far are public views. A public view is a view that everyone can see. Notice that the command to modify these public views is grayed out on the ribbon. That's because I don't have permission to edit this public view. That's okay though, because I can create a personal view. As a member of the marketing team, I can create a personal view that only I can see. I can choose among several types of view, including a standard view like the All Documents view that we just saw. To speed things up, I'm going to base this view on the All Documents view. Now I can see all the columns and other options that are available to me to create this view. I can sort and filter. I can group documents, change the number of items that display on a page, and do all sorts of other things. I'll type a name here. My permissions only allow me to create a personal view. If I have permission to create a public view, I need to verify that this option is set correctly. I'll leave all the columns the same. I want to change the sorting to show the latest documents at the top. To do that, I'll change the sort by field to modified and then show items in descending order. Under filter, I select Created By. Leave the operator at is equal to and then I'll type me in closed in brackets. When I click OK, I can see my view showing just my documents. This view is available to me from the current view drop-down list anytime I come to this library. This is great, but I can see that I forgot to add a column that I wanted in this view. Ah, there's the column I wanted, checked out to. While I'm here, I could change the order of the columns by selecting different numbers from the list, but I like the order, so I won't do that. When I click OK, I can see the column I added to the view. In the next video, we'll show you how to create a public view. For more information about SharePoint products, see the following site.